Hi and welcome to my channel and welcome to this episode of Let's Play Dead Space 1. This is part 14. So further ado, let's get going. I hope you enjoy. Things are looking up. A military ship just docked in. The USM Valor. I don't know what it was doing out there. It must have gotten our distress signal. We can't talk to it until the comms array is fixed. I'm gonna hack the door to communications for you. Get in there and find the comms control station. Okay. Simple enough. So let's fix the comms so that we can speak to the US Valor from the SOS beacon if they find it. Hopefully they'll do. Mm, let's stop by quickly at the store. We heard some crawling. I think it's some kind of big monster waiting outside this room so let's go and find out whatever it is so again we are in this room yellow Almost died. Only almost. Oh, come on. How many of you there will be? Come on. I'm out of stasis. I'm really in big quack. Let's use stasis back immediately. Ah, that one is alive. Okay. Not anymore. Quarantine. Lifted. Yeah, quarantine lifted. Oof, that's a relief. I almost died again. Because I wasn't careful enough. So, let's loot everything. We used a lot of bullets, to be honest. And uh, then, let's check which way we had to go. We have to go to the elevator and up. So let's check the inventory really quick. That is fine. My ammunition is okay. What I'm worried about is my meds. Because I have one large and one medium at the moment. Isaac, the door to communications is open. But I've been getting some weird feedback spikes on the local comms. I think someone's listening in on us, so be careful. So what do we find over here? Let's check. We have some ammunition. That's always a nice thing. Because now I'm really in a spot where I have to buy ammunition so of course I have to keep my eye on credits that I can have enough credits to buy some ammo
then let's check these boxes or whatever containers they are. And then let's go to the com array. Hello. You okay, buddy? Ruby Semiconductor. Let's check the inventory. We have two power nodes. Nah. I wouldn't ever consider checking what we could upgrade. Because I always want to save one power node for those doors that need a power node in order to open. Communications lock. First comms operator Bailey reporting. The ship is under attack, but requests to issue a distress call have been repeatedly denied by Captain Matthias. He won't say it, but everyone on the bridge knows why. This is an illegal operation in a prohibited system. We've all known for months, and we kept our mouths shut. Not anymore. Mayday! 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 This is USG Ishimura! This is... What the hell? I don't believe this. The whole comm system is offline. Now we've gone too far. Bailey out. <laughs> Communications array offline. A service technician has been notified. That comms array is in bad shape. We need at least six working dishes for a strong enough signal. Make sure they're aligned symmetrically, so there are no power gaps. Okay. Nice, we have a stasis recharger over here. Okay, let's save, just in case. So what do we have over here? Medium air can schematic and some flame fuel, which we can sell, of course. Ooh, second power node. That's really nice. Gold semiconductor. And then some contact energy. That's really nice. Um, and some ammunition. That's always a nice thing. Zero gravity. Well, I'll just let those enemies come near me and then I'll stasis them and shoot them dead. Simple enough. Come on. these boxes and then let's repair the comms so let's jump down there get rid of these broken ones like so 
Hopp. Aha. I couldn't reach that one for some reason, I don't know. So now we have... Ah, oh, there's one. Come on. Come on. Stuck or something? Maybe, I don't know. So let's get rid of these red ones and then align the blue ones correctly. Like so. Then we have one red more. Like so. And then let's look the map. Okay. So let's take that one. Put it over here. And then... This one goes... There. And then let's see if this is working or not. Hmm, not yet. One more. Yeah, we have to move this one closer. So this goes over there. And now it should work. Nice. Messages can now be received. That's it. It's working. Get back to communications and use the control panel to send our coordinates to the Valor. Exiting zero gravity. So now comms are back online. Then let's hear the SOS beacon, if it works. This is USM Valor, widecasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod, number 47, and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. Isn't that the escape pod Hammond jettisoned? One of those things was on board. No. No, this isn't going to happen. USM Valor. Come in, Valor. Our signal isn't strong enough. I'm going to open the blast doors to boost the signal. Error. Blast door blockage detected. Please contact a repair technician. Shit! Isaac, there's something big on the hull of the ship, directly above the comms array. Something organic. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. We have to get the doors open to transmit to the Valor. You should have a clear shot from ADS Cannon 48. Get to the cannon and blow it out okay. into space. So then let's recharge my stasis and save. And then let's get going. So now Kendra has to boost the signal. So we have to use the ADS cannon to clear the blast doors. There's something big and organic. So let's go and see what is blocking our blast door. Thank you very much. So now we have four power nodes and I think that we could quickly check if there's something we can upgrade.
So I have maxed HP and damage on my plasma cutter. Um, so I should upgrade my stasis module somehow. Maybe I'll take more energy like so. And maybe put one point in duration. So the stasis lasts longer on those enemies. That sounds good enough. So then let's head this way. And then, let's use the ADS. But before that, let's take the power node. Nice, and save the game. And then, let's use the ADS cannon. Holy smokes. Okay, time to shoot. Kendra, we have a problem. It's going to crash. Why did they open the pod? Damn it. Oh my god. It's headed right for us. Isaac! Isaac! Fuck out of there! Falling apart here. Isaac. Isaac, are you there? Thank God you're all right. I've been trying to reach you. Someone's been blocking my rig signal remotely. A crash must have interrupted the signal block. 
Hammond, where have you been? <laughs> Surviving. Barely. I found some med supplies and packed myself up. Listen. I'm calling aboard on the mission. Fuck the CEC and fuck the chain of command. We have to get the hell out of here. I think I've located a shuttle on the crew deck. The flight log says it needs a new singularity core, but we can probably salvage one from the Valor. I can see the tail end of it sticking out from the side of the Ishimura. I'm headed down there now to find a way inside. I'll meet you there. Come and out. Isaac, if what he says is true about the shuttle, we might have a chance of getting out of here. Head to the cargo bay and see if you can help Hammond. In his condition, he may not last long. Damn. So the SOS beacon didn't work, and the Valor crashed up. So we are in quite a pickle right now. So now we just have to head to the cargo deck and do some things over there. Oh, you again. So before ending this episode, I will quickly stop by at the store. Let's buy some ammo. And one power node. And then let's get going. Any more behind this corner? Nope. Okay. So time to wrap up the episode. So thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Dead Space 1. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up or thumbs down, up to you. And if you want to see more content from me in the future, maybe consider subscribing my channel. But until the next episode, have a great day and bye bye.